Yo, what is good, guys? We are back. Another episode of Redacted today. I'm joined by a fucking dope ass guest. You guys know him, Dogecoin millionaire, aka Proto Doge, aka Glover Contesoto, aka Slum Doge, Doge no right? <laughs> so uh, we were just talking about this. So recently, people started calling you Slum because like they follow you on Twitter. Because of the Twitter thing, yeah. It's funny because it used to just be Pro Pro, pro the Doge. Before that, it was pro the goat. Before that, it was prolific. <laughs> but uh, over the past year, people have just started calling me slum. That's just because of Slum Doge Millionaire. But that wasn't even like my handle. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that was yeah. just my moniker or just whatever. Just name you had a display I, name. Exactly. Yeah. And then people just ran with that and like just started calling me Slum. So Shout out Twitter, bro. Twitter, right. to me, Twitter is the most fun platform right now, at least for me. I don't know what you think. But um, yeah, yeah, dude, really happy to have you here. I want to like get a bit more into your story. Obviously, everyone has heard of your insane, you know, the the whole thing with Dogecoin. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd love to just kind of get to know a little bit more about you as the person. Yeah. And we can definitely talk about that. Like, I want to talk about that stuff. But um, like I said, I watched the documentary about you, the no Not Financial Advice. Okay, fire. Um, it was fucking lit. I got some questions. So, yeah, we'll just have a chill conversation and just see where it goes. But um, okay. you were just talking before we started about, so when you first moved to L.A., yeah. um, you were shooting – Stuff at Red Carpets? What were you shooting with rappers? Yeah, I was. Like, uh, no, I, so I came here this is as before a, crypto, right? This is before crypto, yeah. bro. I came here as a videographer. So wow. I used to live on the other side of the country. I used to live in uh, Maryland, D.C. Mm -hmm. area, um, and they call it a DMV. And when I moved to, to L.A., I didn't have any ins in the industry, right? right? So I moved out here to get a record deal for an artist that I was managing. And so when I'm out here, I'm trying to meet people. I'm trying to, you know, get to know executives and, and A&Rs and mm -hmm. record label people. And I don't know where you meet these people, right? So I'm just going to, like, events. I'm starting to do, like, like I said, I was already doing music videos back home. Right. So I'm, I'm good with the camera. I had a glide cam. I had a whole setup. Shit. I had a 5D Mark III. You know what I mean? I yeah. had a 50 on it. Um, and then I got the wide lens, the L-series. But So I was running around... LA just shooting like red carpet events, mm. record release parties, all types of stuff. And I was meeting people like that. Smart. I was networking, right? Yeah. And yeah, so I was out here just doing that and trying to trying to get a record deal. That's crazy. So you were trying to get the record deal for the artists you manage. You also made music too, right? So that's where the pro comes from, the prolific. Yeah. So, so in high school, I made music with a group of people. So mm -hmm. we had a, like a, a, a rap group. And then um, I went from making music to making music videos to managing music artists. So you've just always been hustling, basically. Yeah. So you have that spirit. And like one, one of the things I was going to ask you, which is crazy, is like, I don't know if you know how much you could talk about it or not, mm. but in the documentary, you're like, you don't have a social right. or a green card or right. none of that shit. And it's like, when I when I saw that, I was like, and I said off camera too, we have something in common. My mom's from Brazil, his mom's from Brazil. So fucking random. Yeah, that's crazy. But um, like, how, how was that like going through life without those things it's like how much of a disadvantage does that because a lot of people watching this we won't be able to relate that's when i heard that i was like that just it sounds so unfair and so difficult right. you were born here i was born here yeah okay yeah. so you'll never understand yeah. um <laughs> my bad y'all <laughs> no, no 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 bro no for real like nobody the people like people don't get it bro it, yeah. it's 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 like living your entire life with this big boulder on your shoulder you know what i'm saying because it's like every avenue that's mm -hmm. set up for you there's a block at the They're end. They're like, what's your social? And you're like, bro. And then it right. just goes back to square one. Yeah. Every time. So it's like, so it's like, you know, they, they teach you like in school growing up, bro, they teach you about the American dream, right? They teach you, oh, you work hard, you do this, X, Y, and Z, you work mm -hmm. your way up this company, or you get into corporate America and you do X, Y, Z, or you go through college, right. you get your degree, then you get a good job. Yeah. Then you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like that's that's what's planned out. That's For the sure. blueprint, right? To being successful in America. That wasn't feasible for it wasn't me. Open to you. Exactly. Yeah. I could not take any of those routes. You know what I mean? And I tried. This is the crazy part. Like, like busting my ass type shit. Like yeah. I went through through school, bro. I was hanging out with the dummies, but mm -hmm. like I got A's and B's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in high school, me as a smart guy. Like it's definitely not from a lack of fucking. It's not, bro. Yeah. It's and so, and so like so like I was like okay, bet I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna go through high school through college, and so then I get to college, and everything up until college is fine. Once yeah. you get to college, is the issue because mm -hmm. you got to get loans, you got to get student loans, you got to get X, Y, and Z, and yeah. and so like, and so like when that like 
blockade happened. I'm like, damn, I can't go to college. Like all of this work I did up until this point. So like, you didn't know until that exact. You didn't know that that. Would I be had the no case. idea, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I get to college. I can't go to college. Like literally can't go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so it's like, okay, now now that I can't take that route. I just have to work, right? Yeah. But I can't get a normal job. Because they want the social. <laughs> because I don't have that. So, like, bro, even if I was to, like, take the most, like, the most basic, like, work at McDonald's, right? Like, go to McDonald's, start as a cashier or whatever you start there, and then work your way up to prep and then food, and then, and then you're a manager, and then you're a district manager, mm-hmm. and then you own a McDonald's. That route isn't allowed <laughs> for me to take either. Bro. I can't even work at McDonald's. Yo, we got to get this guy a fucking social, bro. bro. Who's, who's got the connect with Biden or Trump, whoever the fuck it, who wins this next election, bro? We got him started. Bro, campaign. I, need a, I need a 21 Savage pass. The That's 21 what... Savage from the UK. <laughs> How the fuck is he That's doing? That's what I yeah. need, man. But so that was Drake. W- when I saw, yeah, Drake definitely made a phone call. Um, mm-hmm. So when I saw that in the documentary, a lot of things started hitting in my head where I was like, okay, all of a sudden, this makes sense, bro. Like, this guy had no other Wait. options. Yeah. Like, he had to just figure it out in, like, a totally unfair situation. And so, to me, like, that's why, you know, things like crypto, they're never going to be able to really, I guess, fully stop it because it's just, like, it's one of these alternatives that's just, you know, anyone in the world right. that's is kind of an outcast or a misfit right. and, like, of course, I was not anywhere near your level, bro. I will never try to even pretend I understand what that felt like. But just in general, feeling a little bit like outcast or like I don't like the sort of power structures in society, the sort of, you know, the government yeah. shit. And so that's what drew me to crypto as well. But do you think that more and more people these days, even people that do have a social, it seems like it's just getting harder and harder and worse and worse to even the normal person who has everything to actually that American dream, like you said. Do you think that's why a lot of people are getting into crypto? Because it's getting just for harder. For sure, yeah. for sure. Here's, here's the thing, bro. Like, a lot of people are in this hamster wheel of life, right? Like, there are people that have worked the same nine to five for six years, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, there's got to be more to life than this, right? For sure. Or, or they don't see a way out or success or next level in life because either they're not very good at money management mm-hmm. or they have a bunch of things going on in their life. Maybe they got like three, four, five kids and it's hard to True. take care of them. They're, they're living paycheck to paycheck. So like, I feel like, and, I, and I've talked about this like during, cause I've had a bunch of screenings of the movie and we do like Q and A's at the end of them and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And people always ask me like, like would you ever make that crazy decision again, right? Yeah. And I feel like, the one of the biggest reasons why I made such a drastic move, like going all in on mm. Dogecoin, you know what I mean? Like, is because I felt like there was no way out, right? Like, yeah. my risk tolerance was, was ridiculous. crazy because yeah. it was like, it's either this or it's nothing. This or nine to five grinding. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing okay. is this, I, c- I couldn't even have a regular job, remember? So right, it's right. like, <laughs> I can't work like everybody else. Yeah. So I need to do freelance work. I need to do 1099s. Yeah. I got to like, be a, a contractor, right? Independent yeah. contract. Like I got, that's you don't the have only a way, bro. A safety net. Anywhere. Right. So yeah, th- yeah, there, yeah. there, there is no ladder for me to climb. For so, sure. so it's like if I'm in a position where I'm cornered, which is how I felt. I felt cornered. Mm. It's like, look, it's either this or nothing. So let's yeah. go. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And that part where you were like trying to explain in the documentary to your your homie was like, yo, like why don't you sell though? You got still like a million, and you're like. You basically said, yo, once I sell for a million and I take care of some shit I got to take care of and the people I got to take care of, it's like back to nothing. And so I actually, when you said that, I was like, that makes sense. Like in that moment, whether you would do it again or not, I could see that thought where it's like, well, if it goes to like five or something, now I have enough to take some fucking breather and be like, okay, like take a breather. But like one, you're like, bro, Bro, a million dollars isn't that much money. It ain't shit these days, (laughs) unfortunately. You buy, you literally buy a house. It's gone. And then a car, and then you're almost and, out. And you still owe, you're going to owe like 10K a year on property taxes on the house you just bought as exactly, well. Exactly, bro. So, it didn't make sense Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Okay, so like we'll get into the Dogecoin shit in a second, but my mm. first question before that was like, did you always, you have the vision board and shit in the documentary. Yeah. Did you always, since a kid, did you feel in the back of your head like, yo, I don't know what, what or what, whatever, but like whether it's music or something, but I'm going to be like larger than life. I'm going to be something I'm going to be famous or going to make a lot of money or like did you always have that you want to know something crazy yeah yeah (laughs) like 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 yeah yeah and as a kid bro (laughs) as a little kid like I always felt that I always felt like I look around and everybody else doing what they're doing I'm like I'm smarter than this person I could do this this, or or I can you know what I'm saying and and then like I always had that like thought in the back of my mind and and it's funny because my last 
actual job or wherever you want to call it. Mm. You know, I was an independent contractor. But my last job, uh, my boss used to tell me, because I used to be like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. Because at that time, I was working at a hip-hop media company, mm. right? So I was, I was doing all the behind-the-scenes stuff in video. I was running the video department and running their YouTube channel and everything. But I was trying to be on camera. I was mm. trying to, like gain a following i was trying to you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. do all that stuff and and do x y and z and i'm pushing for it i'm like hey i got this great idea for a show let me host it you know i could do this that and the third and then he because i used to tell him the same thing like yo i feel like i got it i feel yeah. like i could do it type he wanted shit. you to just stay behind the you, scenes exactly because like, yeah. he didn't want me to grow a following because as soon as i grow a following i'm that. bigger than the brand yeah. then i can leave i take that following with me the brand's is stuck you know what i'm saying yeah. so like facts he would tell me that that thought of like being larger than life or like being able to accomplish something incredible in your life he used to tell me oh everybody feels that way mm. oh everybody thinks that way it's not true and, and yeah. it, there's not, no i don't know but like like that would make me second guess my abilities because i'm like oh shit if everybody okay, feels this way then it's really nothing nah, he special was, he was capping he was capping I, mean, I think people think everyone thinks that they deserve everyone thinks they deserve something better but i don't know if everyone thinks yo i can literally be like a superstar or right, like, right, whatever, right, like right, Kanye right, level. Right, right, where, right. Where, where did that come from, bro? Where did that self-belief come from as a kid? Like, where, where did that come from? I think I think it was birthed from struggle, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I, like, I feel like it was, if I didn't have hardships growing up, that might have never been how I felt. Like, if, like, it felt like if I didn't do it, it was never gonna get done. Like if mm -hmm. I didn't break the cycle, like if I didn't make it out of my family, we're yeah. all fucked. It's just all on you basically. You're like, yeah. I gotta do this shit. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, not just for me, for my dad, for my mom, for yeah. my sister, for my aunt, for my uncle, for all of my family members. It's like, no, like if I don't do it, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. You know what crazy. I mean? Like it, like it's it's a lot of pressure on you, but it, it felt like I could handle it though. That's how I felt. Yeah. I, I, was, I was like, I have to break the cycle. I have to make it out. I got to be the first millionaire in the family. I got to be I the first it. one to be successful. Let's you know? fucking go, bro. I'm hyped. That's, yeah. that's fire. That's fire. Um, are you a religious guy? I grew up in a church, yeah. yeah. Does anything um, come from that or not really? Any belief or like your faith or is that not part of it? I feel like you want to know something. I feel like I feel like the church thing and like religion and like how I was raised and my upbringing, that gave my life somewhat of a stability mm. because like we go to church every week you know what i mean that was something right, that right, kind of right. like gl had the family glued together because it was like okay we all have the same belief system it also fueled my feelings of i don't fit in but it's for a reason mm. you know what i'm saying like right. like 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 going to school and and, and having friends and, and all this stuff most kids aren't religious most kids don't go to church and they have all these like ideas of what they want to do there was a lot of things for me that was like it was almost like you you're in school and you feel like an alien because it's like yeah. because it's like my whole family believes in God and all this stuff and like yeah. none of these kids get it. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, like yeah, I yeah. am I am like an outsider in every here. way. In every yeah, way, bro, every way. culturally, right? Cuz I'm Brazilian, right. so like we we're going to school, all the kids are getting like cafeteria lunch. I'm bringing packs from home. <laughs> I want you feijão. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the kids are making fun of me cuz it smells funny. It's 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 foreign yeah, yeah, food, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So like yeah. So like I'm sticking out like a sore thumb, bro. And so like That's so funny. Growing up, my biggest goal in school was just fit in. Just mm. don't get made fun of. Just don't, you know what I mean? Just like yeah. blend in as much as you can. Americanize yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Wow, that's crazy, man. All right. So, let's get into the I guess where you started becoming known and what, what you know, the yeah. start of that story. So, am I right in uh, saying that when you first started selling everything and just going all into Doge. It was like 150,000, 180,000. 180. 180. So, I mean, bro, that's still pretty fucking good, right? For someone in your position, no right. social, no whatever. Right. You just run up 180. So first, I got two questions. So the first part is how did you grind and just like build up that 180? And yeah. the second part of it is why Dogecoin as opposed right, to like right, Bitcoin, right, Ethereum? Right, right, right. What was it about Doge where you're like, do you, do you remember the moment where you're like, this is the fucking coin, this yeah. is the thing, and why this coin so yeah yeah no uh um the 180 the funny thing is this bro people talk about the dogecoin move all the time right like on on twitter it's always right. a topic of conversation i remember the dude that made yeah, millions yeah. in dogecoin um but they never talk about 
how I got to 180. That's what I want to know. Am I the first person that ever asked you that? Bro, uh, this is the first yeah. time I'm really getting into the nitty gritty. Well, like, let's do it. That's be, why I fucking podcast. But right, that's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, it's cool to talk about the $3 million of unrealized gains. But, like, how did I make enough money to even make a crazy ass move like that? Like, that's the 180. How did we get to it? Yeah. So, so, like, so, like I said, grinding as far as coming out to LA, right? I slept on couches. I slept on four different couches for throughout one year right trying to figure it out trying mm -hmm. to get a job trying because like i said i can't get hired anywhere right so i got to make my own way so by the time i got the apartment in, in hollywood i was living in east hollywood it was a studio apartment mm -hmm. like 1200 dollars a month you know what i'm saying and even that was hard for me to come up with right. but it wasn't until i started at that hip-hop media company that i was able to start saving up a little bit of money right so ultimately it was me investing in the stock market that was I was able to run it up to 180. So wow. out of my own money that was saved up, I want to say thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars. Wow! So thirty, up. forty up to one eighty. Yeah. Just stocks, straight up stocks. Tesla. Tesla. I was about to ask is that <laughs> Tesla. That sounds like some Tesla shit. So, so you like to pick? You're. I get it, bro. Because I'm kind of the same. Where it's like everyone's like, no, like just buy the S and P five hundred. I was all in on Tesla. You're, you're bro. like, bro, I'm all in on Tesla. So you already were. I, I'm guessing a fan of Elon. Or was yeah. that just because Tesla was doing good? Or was that an Elon thing? Yo, I like Elon. I'm gonna invest in Tesla. I'll, I'll put it like this. I've always been a tech guy, like a gadget guy. Mm -hmm. Like I used to love my favorite store as a kid was Best Buy. Dope. Bro, like I used to be like, dad, take me to Best Buy. Yeah, we yeah. don't got to buy nothing. I'm going to just look at all the shiny computers yeah, and yeah. look at the the modems. and, and How like, many megabytes fucking graphics right, card it has. Intel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pentium <laughs> processors. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all that. Like, oh, this one's Pentium 3. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> bro, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So so I, that was the kind of kid I was, right? How, like how I wanted. I'm 36. Oh, you sure you're a little older than me. So you, I mean, bro, I remember when like 256 megs of RAM was like good. And yeah. It's like, yo, it's 256 That's the megs. thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, um, but yeah, so like that was the type of kid I was. Yeah. So, um, so growing up, it was like that. And then, wait, what were we getting? What was the question? Uh, so you were talking, the Tesla, why was it? Why right, was the Tesla? Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. Right. So, 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 so I started working at, at the hip hop media place in 2018, right? Mm. Here in LA. Um, I was I was a I was a entry level video editor, okay? Right. So I so I made thirty six thousand dollars the first year. Okay. Right. Barely breaking even getting in LA by especially. I, in LA, yeah. right? Um twenty nineteen. So I did so well twenty eighteen that I got a raise and I started running the video department mm. at this company and I was making forty five K. So forty five K and mind you, I'm living on bare necessities. Yeah. Right. So so like I'm paying rent, I'm paying gas for the car. I'm paying my bills. Yeah. Everything is going into stocks. Because uh, spring of 2019 was when I first was like, oh, I have $3,000 in the mm. bank. What should I do? What should I do with this yeah. money? Should I keep it in the bank or should I invest it, right? Mm. So I'm Googling like how to become a millionaire. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm, I'm Googling like all the seven streams of income, this, yeah, that, and yeah. the third. So I'm like, all right, bet. I got to invest this money somehow. So Robinhood. Robinhood. Yep. This is when I downloaded Robinhood. And I'm like, all right, bet. I got a little bit of money. Let me put this in Robinhood. And that, and now I got, I think I'm maybe I have 5,000 bucks, right? Yeah, I was like yeah. $5,000 in Robinhood. <laughs> That's all I got in the bank. I got a few hundred, yeah. right? $300. So I'm putting this in, 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 in um, and I'm trying to figure out what to buy. I'm mm. like, okay, what stocks am I going to buy? Sure, I knew who Elon was. Mm. I wasn't, like, I didn't know that much about him. I wasn't like some huge Elon fan. Right, right. It was just like, I have some money. I need to invest it. What stock should I buy? Now, I don't know how, how, uh, how much you remember from 2019, mm. but that's the year that Tesla stock was coming down like crazy. Right. And they were they were on the brink of like, they were either gonna make it- Or not. Or not that yeah. year, because that was the year the Model 3 was supposed to come the out. The production, they were trying to hit that production. Right, they couldn't yeah, do yeah, it, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. They had a lot of uh, production issues. Yeah. Um. So, excuse me. So anyways, this is what happened. The stock had dropped from 300 to 250. This is pre- splits yeah all, right yeah, so yeah. this is back like 2019 stock was 250 which right? now would be worth like 3k with, yeah exactly something splits, like that yeah. right 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 so 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 250 is when i was like oh and then it dropped down to like 245 right and then i remember being at home i think this was like uh january uh 2019 and i was looking at at the news my mom always watches the news right mm -hmm. and like it was cnn or something like that and they were like tesla stock reaches like the lowest it's been in five years that's what mm -hmm. they said yeah, yeah, yeah right so so i'm like Oh shit! Let me look into this, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, coming from the t being a techie type of person, electric cars intrigues me. Yeah, 
I'm you like, okay, electric cars. Yeah. Like, if, if you look at something just from the most basic viewpoint, right? And you look, okay, in the next 20 years, in the next 50 years, are we going to have more electric vehicles course, on the yeah. road or less electric vehicles yeah. on the road? Simple thesis. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll have more. Yeah. Right. I think <laughs> this is the direction that the world is going into. Right. And, and I see it in LA all the time. Right. So I'm like, okay, this seems like the route we're going to go. So if this is something that I see taking over in the future, what companies leading the way in electric vehicles? Tesla. Boom. Oh, it just so happens that Tesla's at the lowest it's been in years. <laughs> this is when you invest, when yeah. it's at the low, right? Right, right. So that's when I started buying, that's why I bought my first Tesla stock. I think it was uh, April 2019 or something. Crazy. Um. So I buy it. So so like that whole year I'm buying it. And the, here's the crazy part. Tesla goes from 250 to 245 to 230 to 220 to 210 to 200. <laughs> it drops down to 190, 180, wow. 179. 178 was the lowest Crazy. that Tesla stock went, and I was buying and the whole way cost down. Averaging every Bro, paycheck. Every, every paycheck I'm buying, every, every week I'm buying. I'm, I'm buying Damn. a bunch of Tesla stocks. At one point, I had like 30,000. I don't remember, bro. I had yeah. so much <laughs> Tesla stocks at that point, and all of it was in Tesla. That's insane. And then 2020, 2021, it blew up. Yeah, of course. Right after the pandemic, right. everyone's printing money. Boom, boom. Tesla was probably the fucking number one stock that went insane. So exactly. eventually you ran it up to 180. So 30K ran all the way to 180. I actually had 250 at one point. Yeah, and then it came down a bit. I lost money in GameStop. I lost money in AMC. I lost money in... Uh, Nokia. Mm -hmm. I had all the all Fucking the meme stocks. L Lululemon or whatever. The no, there was yeah. meme stocks at yeah. that point. I don't I know if remember. you remember. Yeah, oh, Blackberry. Remember Blackberry, Nokia. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. I bought a bunch of those, and and I lost I lost quite quite a bit of money on yeah. that. And then the and then it went down to 180, and that's when I, I went all in on Dogecoin. All right, perfect. So you set it up perfect uh, perfectly for me. So you're at 180. Mm -hmm. You ran it up from fucking 30k or whatever, maybe 30, 40. You're sitting there, and what makes you decide at this point? Because look, for most people, they would be fucking through the moon with that result they would be like right. this is working perfectly right. i'm dollar cost averaging in this i went up like four or five x in my portfolio a lot of people would not change that system right, right. So that's to me i'm like this guy is like a risk taker to the fucking max so <laughs> what made you be like nah fuck this 180 like i'm gonna just go all into right. literally dogecoin like what was the moment where that happened and why did you choose dogecoin it's so funny like i almost didn't have the 180 like i think when i was around 120 I was trying to buy a house. Mm. And, the, and, and the reason why I was trying to buy a house was because I wanted to have a creative hub for yeah. all of the artists that I was managing. Right. Right. right? Go into the house, make music, whoop de whoop, right? Yeah. But I couldn't get a loan. Mm. <laughs> Blessing in the skies, man. Blessing in the skies. Here's the crazy thing, bro. If I had gotten that loan, that money would have gone into the house. I wouldn't yeah. have had the money in 2021. You wouldn't be Dogecoin Millionaire. You'd just be right. Globber, which is cool. But Which is cool, but it's not the same. We wouldn't be here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... so Or like, why did I switch, no, why did why did switch? I switch yeah, up my why, strategy? Because so it was good, working. So why did you switch the strategy it, and be like, it. fuck it, okay, Dogecoin okay, okay. is what I'm going to do. <laughs> like, Okay, so... so Okay, so what stirred the pot there was losing money on GameStop, mm. AMC, and all that stuff, right? Because like, like I said, up until that point, my strategy was working great. Right. I had hit quarter of a million dollars in a few years, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, GameStop didn't work, uh, AMC didn't work, because I, I was just late. I was just late. Yeah, like by yeah. the time I got into it, it was all over the news. Right, right. And right. I had been on, I had been in Reddit, bro, for months before that. Yeah. I just wasn't in Wall Street bets. You know right, what I mean? Right, it wasn't right. until I started hearing all this stuff. So. What sparked the Dogecoin conversation was like, okay, something's happening here with retail investors, right? The GameStop thing happened. So I was, bro, I, I lived that whole thing. So like, mm. think about this. The, 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 the story makes sense. All these people are getting together to buy GameStop. Wall Street is shorting GameStop stocks. Yep. We can technically win, okay? Right. So I think I put in 20K in a GameStop high like a three hundred dollars some crazy yeah, right yeah. i was there the day so so the day i did that was probably the day a lot of people did that because the next day before the opening bell it was uh it looked like it was gonna go to five hundred dollars mm. bro like 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 it looked like it was gonna skyrocket yeah, yeah. right and and so when when the opening bell rings and robin hood halted, disables halted, halted the buy it. button they disabled the buy button you couldn't buy yeah but you could sell you couldn't buy though so corrupt Bro, the so shit corrupt. dropped. The price tanked because of that. So, like, 
I was frustrated. The first thing I do is go on Wall Street bets. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what are we doing? Yeah, like, yeah. what, like, 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 <laughs> huddle, guys. What's the yeah. game plan? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what are we doing now? Um, and everybody's frustrated. All I'm seeing is I'm pulling the money out of stocks. I'm taking my money out of stocks. Because you're going, like this. The casino's rigging the game. Exactly. So why do fuck want to stay in this game? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like a little kid playing video games with your older brother, and he unplugged the controller, and you're sitting there thinking you're playing, but you're not. Right. So, so I'm good. like, okay, yeah. there's there's this wave of frustration with retail investors over mm. the GameStop thing, right? That money, that liquidity is gonna go somewhere. Where's it gonna go? So that's when I started like, okay, what's what's the next? Cause like, I'm on the cusp of this. Like, yeah, yeah. something's about to happen. It happened two I gotta minutes ago. Quick. You're like, what's the right. next thing? Yeah, exactly. So like, as I'm, as I'm trying to figure it out, like, where's this money? Where's all this liquidity going? Cause people are taking out of stocks, where are they gonna put it in, mm. right? And boom, crypto. Makes sense, mm. right? Crypto and makes w- sense. Was uh, Dogecoin already on Robinhood? Yes. So you're in the same fucking Bro, app, right? So I boom, thought boom. about it. I, like it was just, it was very basic, like yeah. thinking. I, I was like, I was like, I was like, right. Everybody's pulling it out of the stocks. They can put it in crypto, and crypto isn't. There's no hedge fund. There's exactly. there's no like big bad wolf that's gonna like pull the plug. The if government and like whatever Ken Griffin, whatever these guys, they're not gonna call right. Dogecoin. There is no it's one to call. Crypto. Yeah, there's it's no one, blockchain. Yeah, blockchain. So 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 I'm like okay, bet. But the the thing that sparked the the Dogecoin, uh, just like deep research I did into it, like like looking into it for like weeks, was uh was, <laughs> it was a tweet that got screenshotted and put into the Reddit. Um by uh i forgot the name of the, uh, of the account but but the, the 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 tweet was has dogecoin ever gone to a dollar mm. or has dogecoin ever hit a dollar right and i'm like dogecoin all right let's look into this right yeah, and that yeah. that's when i like stop what i'm doing when it when did it start let me learn about the history when was it created why why is it at this price was so it always at, at this, at this price? point did you already buy it and then you're doing the research or like did you so when you're like okay where's the liquidity going did you literally same day buy dogecoin or did you like okay i think that's where it's going let me do some research I, first. okay the yeah. first thing i did was buy 40 dollars. so i'm on robin hood right <laughs> so do uh, you have robin hood uh, i do yeah okay okay so you know how there's that extra bit of money that's not invested yeah the cash the buying balance. power yeah, yeah buying Power, right yeah. so i had maybe 50 bucks right so i put 40 dollars into um or 40 bucks i don't yeah. know i just put everything i had in there yeah. which was not that much into dogecoin at a penny maybe right. or like right under a penny or something like that right. this was january 20 this was right after the gamestop thing right, right. i was like oh shit because because I'm, I'm looking at my app wow i was still under a, a fucking cent yeah right there. damn yeah crazy. so so i put in 40 bucks the next day bro dogecoin shoots to eight cents oh it had never done that before oh, you would have been up 8x already Fuck. <laughs> right oh, fuck. so so it shoots up i'm i'm literally in real time looking at my phone and seeing the 40 dollars <laughs> go to 60 go to 80 go to 100 150 200 250 You're 300 like, 350 dude. 400 what the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, seriously, yeah. like, what's yeah. going? Like, this has never happened like, with my stocks. Don't do stocks. That. Yeah, exactly. It's volatile, bro. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, stop everything, stop everything, right? Yeah. Like, literally, like record, like, <laughs> what the fuck is Dogecoin? Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So like, I'm literally doing research. I'm like figuring out where all this stuff. And so seeing, seeing my, so the same way I saw the 20k in the GameStop the very next day evaporate. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A day after that, I buy Dogecoin. I see it go from forty to almost four hundred dollars. Right? Crazy. So I'm like, this. There's something here. Something is like people are people are coming. People. Something's something, happening, yeah, yeah. right? And at the time on Robinhood, the only three crypto you could buy was Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. It's the only choice, basically. Only meme. All the liquidity has to go there. Basically. Has to go yeah, there yeah, because yeah. because Bitcoin is thirty k. No one's buying that shit. Yeah. Right. If you don't know the technology or, or you're not going to invest yeah. in a $30,000 exactly. coin. Nobody with a thousand bucks is going to buy Bitcoin. Even though I love Bitcoin, that's just the truth. Right. Like, yeah. And not, not only that, but with a thousand bucks, you get a fraction of a Bitcoin. And nobody yeah, wants exactly. a fraction it's of a coin. demotivating. I think they should do a stock split of Bitcoin and Ethereum, but they can't do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, go ahead. Go do you ahead. see what so, I'm saying yeah, though? Yeah, like, like, sure. like it's a psychological thing. Like you would rather have a hundred of something than 0.00000008 of something else, right? Yep, yep. So Bitcoin's 30K. Ethereum is even 2K, 3K or something and it's time. not easy to understand for a total it's not I, we don't have time yeah we don't no have time, time it's to just to study all this stuff yeah, yeah like 30k sounds too much 3k is too high dogecoin's a penny yeah bro let's fucking buy dogecoin <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. the same way we all yeah. got together and was like yeah. game stop it's like is the, the move. people's the people's move people's champ let's, let's all get yeah, together and yeah. buy dogecoin right and, and so like so like there's there's talks like that in the reddit sections sure people talking about dogecoin like whoop you and this probably the stuff. elon connection helps elon connection course, yeah. And so and so it, maybe it took me like a week or two after that yeah. and, and I was like that's it that's the move and, and I you do sold, it in one chunk bro, boom I sold, boom yeah I sold everything 
I, I, I liquidated all my Tesla stocks. I, all, all like, I think I had some Facebook. I had some Uber. I had some other stocks, and yeah, I yeah. sold everything, bro. And just like all in on Dogecoin, like fucking love it, dude. Like so, that meme with the <laughs> Michael scene, and he's, he's just like, pushing all it all in, in. <laughs> literally. Well, it's funny, right? They say you know to um, if you want to get rich, you should. If, so if you want to stay rich, you should diversify when you already have money. But right. if you want to get rich, you should not diversify. You gotta take risks. You gotta go all in on some shit. One or two things maybe right. that you believe in. So you kind of did that. You kind of the exact example of that, which is I'm gonna pick Tesla. Boom. Right. You, you played around with some other stuff. Right. But like Tesla was like the, the core, main one. Right? right? Then you're like I'm gonna do Dogecoin. So right. it's like yeah, I think if you try to just, if you have 10k and you put 1k here, 1k here, 1k here, 1k here, you kind of don't really know right. what you you had an actual thesis. Right. Even though people might think oh you just kind of sound like you're just doing some dumb shit. By right, right, right. you actually explained it perfect. You're like everyone's pissed over here. Right. They're all in this app Robinhood right, right here, right, but they right, don't right. like this entire shit anymore because right. they feel like it's right. rigged. Where are they going to go? Right. They don't want to put it back in their bank account right. because let's keep the party <laughs> exactly. going. And, you know, the government's printing money. No right. one really needed the money right, right then. That was a crazy time. Right. So where's it going? And you're like, fuck it. I think crypto because people can't control it. Right. This coin is the only meme. Right. It's cheap. So to me, it makes it was actually really smart. It's like so basic that it's smart, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's amazing. So boom. So you get, you know, you buy 180K in Doge. We won't have, we don't have to go through the whole entire story again because people have right, seen right, right. that but basically you know it runs up to about 2.8 mil um 2.9 mil yeah. and at that point you got like 100 bucks in the bank 200 bucks in yeah, the bank bro. and 1.2.9 million in right. your phone right <laughs> like, bro, it was like a video game literally it was like, like i beat what? the game I was, I was like oh shit i'm at the final stage and i'm crushing it, you it know? and it's like how so one thing i was uh, curious to ask you is like a lot of people 99 percent of people especially guys right mm -hmm. if anyone made that kind of money the first thing people will be thinking of is like bro i'm gonna flex i'm gonna buy a fucking oh, rolly yeah, yeah. i'm gonna buy a car yeah. you did the opposite where you're like you kind of embraced that thing of like, yo, I'm keeping my lifestyle so humble. Mm. I'm in the fucking Corolla. Right. I got my apartment. Right. Like, what is it about your mindset that you were just like, you you love, you like embraced that uh, and you were right. kind of, I think people could relate to you so much more. It makes you so much more likable because you didn't just go right, try to right. buy a Lambo. Or right, like, right, well, right, what right. about that where you're just like, I'm not doing that shit. Bro, that stuff do doesn't matter to me. Like, I like, like at, at, at the core, at the core, what matters to me is 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 uh is, is the mission, right? Mm -hmm. well, the mission at the time was, and it still is, uh, to to make a label, make a music label, sign my artists, yeah. right? Um, figure out how to maneuver in the industry. Like we're probably gonna have to buy or pay for features, pay for this, sure. pay for promotions. But you know what I mean? There's so a, that's like, still your dream things. at the back of your head is still the music thing yeah. while you're doing this, and right. you're like, that's gonna fund so, this, right? Yeah. Right. So yeah. so here's the thing: if my goal and here's the crazy part, because I learned a lot around that time as far as like the whole flexing thing and all that stuff. Like, like I said, that's not I'm not naturally like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like that's very superficial for sure. Uh, you know what I mean? Very materialistic, like like, oh, cool. You got this or you got that. Now, if your goal in life is to become famous, <laughs> yeah. right, or or to have clout or uh, be with the in crowd, rub shoulders mm -hmm. with, with celebrities or whatever. That's what you do, right? Sell, sell your drop shipping course, whatever the fuck. Bro, you that's want what to, you yeah. do. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like, because why? And I get it now. Because why? Because if if my goal is to be an influencer, right, or mm -hmm. my goal is to have people like follow me and, yeah. and then buy all my stuff, take all your I advice have to yeah. show you why you have to buy my stuff. Yeah, yeah. I have to show yeah. you the Lambo. I have Ty to Lopez. show you the, the Gucci, the Louis. The like, you yeah. have to do that. So you're like, this is what you want. Credibility. So buy my stuff. Yeah. I get it, right? Whether or not that person really is superficial or really is materialistic mm -hmm. or they're doing it for perception. Of course. Either way, I understand why. Sure. My goal was never to be an influencer. Like this just happened. Yeah, you seem like the kind of guy who <laughs> likes providing for people. Like I'm, right. do you is that something you is that what you're like in the back of your head you're like, "Bro, I want to take care of like all these people." You don't seem like a selfish guy to me. Bro, it's it, it comes it, it it it's rooted from where I'm from. Yeah. So 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 it's like if you're raised in a family that needs a lot, or, or you're raised in a, in a situation or in an environment where you don't have a lot, your goal is to provide. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it goes it goes back to that initial conversation about I have to make it. I have to be the right. one that makes it out. And, and, and that becomes your number one priority. So it's not like, but here's the thing. I feel like if you're raised comfortably, if you're raised in an already rich family, there's no like fire burning under you. Yeah. 
As soon as you make some money, you're gonna buy a Ferrari. And maybe your family doesn't really need help because they already got all the shit. Yeah, you don't even think about giving your dad money. He's a fucking billionaire or whatever. whatever. You know what I mean? Like your family already has his house paid off. So you you just fucking just blow money. It has no value to you. Essentially, money doesn't matter. So I was gonna say that, like, in general, I mean, I was in Brazil a couple months ago visiting my grandma. Like Brazilian people is just different. Like even the Brazilian people who are the most rich, the most famous, anyone that plays on the Brazilian soccer team or whatever, these guys are fucking multimillionaires. They're still so humble compared to other athletes like American NBA right, players right, or whatever. Right, 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 and like, right. they don't think they're better than anyone. They will talk to anyone. So it's like, I think a lot of it could be a culture thing too. It, so. it, no, no, I, cool. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I, well, I'm, I'm agreeing with what you said. You said it's your upbringing, which is yeah. a lot of Brazil stuff. Yeah. So I think it's amazing, bro. So let me ask you this, right? So it all kind of, you know, in the documentary, it boils up to this one. And I remember this, I wasn't in Doge, but I was in crypto. I was doing mm-hmm. a little bit of options. I was yeah, DJing yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that time and everyone's talking about Elon SNL. This is, it's hard to explain how big this shit was it was hype right. it was like yo next right. fucking friday like right. or saturday whatever next saturday it's fucking elon on snl right, right, and right. that was gonna be the fucking thing right so yeah. leading up to that and obviously what happened right after doe started kind of going down and it's right, the classic right, right, buy the right, rumor right. sell the news right, right, right. but sometimes you think that and it didn't start the bitcoin etf it didn't work like that right. it's going back up so you have no way of knowing but looking back on it do you what do you think about elon's performance on snl and do you think that he how do you think he did on there? And do you think he could have done more? Do you think he let Dogecoin holders down on SNL? I honestly, I feel like no matter what he said or what he did on SNL, that was the peak. Mm. That like because there, there were too many people with big pockets in Dogecoin that were waiting for that moment. Right. A lot of veteran traders, a lot of like seasoned vets, like they're like, they get it, yeah. right? The Asian whales. Right, so th- <laughs> th- this is a perfect, th- like bro, it couldn't be a clearer sell. Top signal. Top signal, yeah, like, yeah. like it makes sense. Like in retrospect, it makes sense, right? If you were on your second or third cycle in crypto, right, you may known. be playing, yeah, exactly. right, right. And, and, and so at the time, think about this. I'm, I'm this kid, $180,000, put it in Dogecoin, right? Two months later, I'm a fucking millionaire. I don't know, crypt that's my first crypto. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it was the yeah, first yeah, yeah. crypto I ever bought. I Crazy. became a millionaire off of. So so it's like, <laughs> how the fuck do you I don't have the vision. I don't have I, I can't the context. Right. Yeah. I can't zoom out. Yeah. Yeah. My my knowledge is this. My knowledge crypto. is I bought this and like six months later I'm literally a multimillionaire. So like ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. Like I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. You know? it, yeah. It's working. That's bro, that is insane. That is insane. So um what about now? Like you still hold a little bit of What's the first now? crypto you bought? Uh first crypto I bought was actually Bitcoin, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. But you know, these days like I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm not a max. Imagine if you thing. bought Bitcoin and then you became a millionaire. In two yeah, months. you would. You would <laughs> exactly. You would. You wouldn't want to hear any fucking advice, right? So like, um, so do you still hold some Doge like these days? Or I, I see you're into a lot of different things. You like yeah. you're into Cardano. Yeah, you're into Cardano. other things. Like what percentage of Doge? You don't have to be exact, but like just a little Doge. Are you still a big fan? It's kind of like, are you a bit cold on it now? Like what? Where are you at with it? I have everything. You have everything. Boom. So you're still a fan of Doge, still chilling. Yeah. Okay. So what what would be the one thing, and I don't want to, this will be the last question about Elon because everyone always talks about Elon, but I'm just curious. What do you think would be like the one thing Elon could do that would help Doge gain more adoption these days? Something with Twitter? Is there anything he very could do? Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. He, he, he has enough power and influence to really push that price up if he gives it more utility, right? So not just talk about it. So we're talking about like if he... Because they're working on this now, payments on X. On right? X, right, right. So so if he integrates crypto with payments on X and he makes Dogecoin the main mm. crypto for X, right, that'd be huge, right? You got millions and millions of users that can now send and receive Dogecoin for on sure. X, right? That's huge. Also, if he starts selling his vehicles for Dogecoin, mm. which he said he would. or He, he did said, say that, right? He yeah. He insinuated that. Yeah. So like, because used to, he used to sell Teslas for Bitcoin, right? Mm. So, okay. So, so if he if he incorporates the payment system on X, and if he starts selling his Tesla uh, cars for Bitcoin and Dogecoin again, and have those two as, as the two options. No, I love that. That makes total sense. What What do you think would be like? Do you think those can ever go past a dollar, like, or go to one of those kind of numbers again, eighty cent, ninety cent, a dollar? I feel like it will. Yeah. Like, like, like if we're basing it just off of pure cycles, we're not talking about like. And Dogecoin now is too big to even be considered a pump and dump. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, no, it's, like, it's huge it's, now. It's, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's, it's a it's large insane. cap. Right. Point. It, yeah. It's like, it's 
it's Dogecoin is so big that it's gonna do what the market does. Yeah, right, right. Do so it just what depends on Bitcoin's market cap is go up. So you know, if Bitcoin is at a 500k, right. Doge will be at. What do you think we could? So be so so at? here's the thing. If, if you and that's part of like when I said I was I was looking into Dogecoin. That's part of what I was doing. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, what's the price of Dogecoin today? It's a penny, right? Right. Okay, ten years ago when it was created, what was the price of Dogecoin? It was point zero 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 some crazy. <laughs> like so so like you look at the chart. You, you zoom out on it, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you zoom out on Bitcoin, it's doing this. Right, it goes up and down, up and down on a daily, on a weekly. But if yeah. you zoom out on years, it's an uptrend. Sure, right, sure. Dogecoin is the exact same thing, bro. It's yep. following Bitcoin. Right. So it's not about if Dogecoin is going to hit a dollar. It's about when it's going to hit a dollar. Right. Mm. At what price does Bitcoin have to be for that, that to lift that, that? It would lift that up, right? That so like sense. Bitcoin could be a hundred k, a hundred fifty, two hundred k, and Dogecoin might hit a dollar. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's, we wake up in 10 years and Dogecoin is $5 or who knows? That's what I'm yeah, saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 it's not just Dogecoin. I'm talking about like, uh, like the other top 10, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like everything, like everything is rising go tide. Yeah, yeah, rising tide. It's just makes the whole sense. crypto world right. it, as money comes in right. for sure. For sure. All right. So let's jump into this then. All right. So this might be, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to start any beef with any coins or anything, but I'm just curious. What's your thoughts on some of the newer dog coins or let's not even say just dog, but like obviously Pepe. And then let's start with dog coins. What's your thoughts on some of these newer dog coins like Bonk and Dog with Hat? Do you like them? Or are you like, ah, it's trash. Like Dogecoin is like the main dog coin or like, what's your thoughts? The, okay, that? okay. so when it comes to newer coins, and that's just something that I feel like everybody needs to know. Um, when you have a brand new coin that just comes out, it, it there's too much that needs to happen in order for it to like level out, okay? Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, distribution. Right. Okay, we're talking about who holds what. You can have a hundred wallets, and that could all be for one person. One person. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Just like dumping, like dumping, it's, dumping, bro. Dumping. It's too yeah. new that 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 like it's skewed. Like the distribution is skewed, right? Mm. It just it just is. You're talking about the dev. You're talking about the devs team. You're right. talking about influencers. You're talking about uh, core core members. You're talking about there's so many pockets that this coin is in right now. Yeah. And the fact that it's new, everybody has access to their wallets. Everybody like it's yeah. not like a ten year old like damn what happened to that Where wallet? Lost the damn I lost the keys. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Dogecoin is like that. Yeah, like Dogecoin yeah. has been pumped and dumped. So many times sure. in, the, in the and it's so in old, the first like you said, few years. Yeah, that after that people forget about it, right? And then it and then it goes back down really low, and people mm. completely forget about it, and they buy and trade, and it goes sideways or whatever. But now it's so big that like not one person can has control over all that Dogecoin. You know mm, what I'm saying? Sure. So the distribution is evened out, right? Yeah. So dog with hat, like all like like I'm a fan. I think it's funny. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I think it's <laughs> hilarious, bro. Like like um. Dog with half bonk. Uh, I I personally really like Floki. Yeah, yeah. You know what sure. I mean? Like that was the first. Like I was such a Dogecoin maxi bro in the beginning. Like I was a purist. Like <laughs> yeah. the first like maybe year eight months, I was like nothing else, sure. just yeah, Dogecoin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like to the point where like I turned down a lot of stuff, bro. Like like the first few months after Dogecoin, I got approached by Baby Doge. Mm. Like they sent me an email. They were like, "Next week we're gonna launch a coin called Baby Doge, and you're the fucking Dogecoin guy. We need you to like yeah. promote it." You could it, basically right? name your price. Ba yeah. Basically, yeah. they were yeah. gonna be like some percentage of of, of supply, right? Yeah. And I was like, "No, only Dogecoin." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know what market cap Baby Doge went to? How much? Billions. Really? Bro. Baby Doge went to billions. Billions, Fuck, bro. Damn. I would I would be sitting on like so much money That's if I accepted that. You know what I yeah. mean? But but I did. But it. also sometimes you might that you could have you know the devs could rug people and then people true. blame you. So right, right. you got to be careful. I was going to ask you that yeah, as a later question tricky. about the difficulty of being a crypto influencer. I was going to ask you what your thoughts. Are. Let me save that for later. Yeah. But um, let me ask you about this one. I'll pull up a tweet. Um, you said take a hard look at Pepe right now. This is the last time you'll see the market cap over one billion for a very long time. What happened? It went down below. I was right. Now I was holding Pepe, <laughs> but like I don't no hard feelings. Um, but you were right. Do you think that that is you're right for now? Of course, I'm not saying right, right, uh, right. No, I think don't it won't come go at back. me, bro. I'm not no, saying it's never it come back. back. But no, I, I, you, you did you learn? Is that something where you're like I've seen this movie before? Like enjoy the celebration, but like this, bro. Thing, that you know, comes with experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, like. Think about this. A lot of for a lot of people, Pepe was their first crypto. Mm. They bought that. They saw it go to 1.5 billion. You can't tell them shit. Yep. And I'm sitting here like, this is too high of a market cap. Right. We're in the bear market. 
Leave, yeah. but sell, yeah, right? Yeah. I, I'm I'm the one screaming at the TV. Now you became the other. I'm the, yeah, because yeah, <laughs> I I know the story. Yeah. I, I've I've lived it, and so it's like I'm literally. It's a cautionary tale. I'm literally telling people to mm. sell their bags at 1.5 billion market cap last year in the bear. It was crazy because it was the middle of the fucking bear, bro. But like you said, you kind of learn more after the first cycle. So I'm still holding some Pepe for me. I, I like Dog with Hat now a lot just because it cracks me up on to, Solana. Uh, on Solana, because you know they yeah. they put it on. ERC, right? They put it on ERC, but it flopped. It went down to like, a, I don't know, like two, three million market cap. Bro, it was it, it was, was an influencer bad. guy who he, said, he said, I he started the meme, it, but he didn't create it. He didn't create shit. He, so. he made it popular though. Yeah, he might've made it popular, but to say I created the meme, it's like, okay, well, is the, is the, are you the owner of the dog? No. Did you take the picture of the dog? No. Did you even were you even the first person that said dog with hat like with the with no, the spelling? That was a comment no. Somebody made. Yeah. It, right? Someone. It was like, <laughs> there was other there was other tweets before them. So right. every, and also they didn't tweet for like two years. They come back. Right. They're like, I made this meme. Right, right, like, everyone was just like, bro, go fuck because yourself. he saw so. what happened on Solana. So exactly. He was like, oh shit, I can do this on Ethereum. Exactly. So it kind of flopped. But in in a way, I was kind of glad to see that happen because it was like what you just said so many things could happen. It's almost like a battle tested, right? You know, to that battle tested right. with, in right. my opinion, and made it stronger. It'd be like, can it, can it survive an attack? It right. survived. So now we can go a little bit. What, the what's up. the market cap right now? Dog with that. Uh, 400 mil on Solana. Yeah. Right now, right now, 400, 400 mil. What about Bonk? Uh, 750. That's crazy. Yeah. Bro. They're doing pretty no, 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 good. 400 yeah. million dollars or 400 Solana. No, no. 400 million dollar market cap. Oh, okay, okay. So dog with fat is, Whatever it is, is the price. So like at a billion, it would be $1. It's like low supply. Uh, it's a billion supply. Oh, it's a billion supply. Okay. So it's, it's kind of the opposite. So if it's a billion dollar market cap, it would be $1. So right now, one dog with that coin is 40 cents right Got now. It. But it's because it's way lower supply. But anyway, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. so you're not against all that shit. You're just like, wait and see. But, you know, be careful. This is not as tried and tested you, as you want. It, yes. Yeah. Agreed. Um, like I said, Floki was the first one I got into after Dogecoin. And I like, I, bro, I was an ambassador. I was like pushing mm. the hell out of Floki. I love Floki. I got a ton of Floki. That's stuff. Elon's uh, dog's name, That's right? Elon's dog's yeah, name. Yeah, 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 it makes yeah. sense. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it makes um, sense. But but like let's talk about the new coins like like with dog dog with hat and bonk and stuff. Let's talk about Pepe and and uh, and uh, Harry Potter. Harry Obama, Potter, Obama, Sonic, Sonic Inu, Ten, yeah, yeah, bro. Oh my God, Bitcoin that's so genius, bro. Bitcoin, yeah, <laughs> bro, that's so genius. I like I have so many regrets of not getting into that when it first came out. But that coin is so funny, dude. The he, videos and it's shit. Yeah. And then they got the NFT project. Yes, bro. Yeah. The, the community is fucking incredible. Yeah. Um, autistic as fuck. Shout out to you guys. I love it. Yeah, I don't even know if you can say that. No, you can that? say it. It's a it's a compliment. Okay. It's a compliment. Yeah, I say it. I'm like, bro, I'm an autistic <laughs> DJ. Like, it's like compliment. Okay. Shout out everybody. We're good. Don't worry, they won't cancel me, dude. <laughs> Dude, you don't bro, know. My, I don't know. No, like, you don't know my tweets, bro. My tweets. Okay. This interview is like PG compared to my tweets. Bro. Okay, I say okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. New coins. My opinion only, not his. Guys, don't cancel <laughs> new, him. New, yeah. new coins. New coins. Yeah, new coins. Um, <laughs> personally, personally, I'll give you. I'll give you my top five brand new coins that I not brand new, mm. but 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 meme coins that are newer than 2021 that I feel like. Uh, are, are gonna do crazy, bro. Let's do it. Um, Here we go. Um, Pepe. In order or just random order? The, like more likely to least likely. Okay. I'll put it like that way. Uh, Pepe mm -hmm. is, is like, bro. I, I right now I'd buy ten thousand dollars worth of Pepe. No brainer. And just hold it. Yep. Because it's gonna go crazy for sure. It's 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 built up enough of a following, enough of a community, enough. Of, like like it's it's solid, right? It's Pepe's ready. Solid. It's primed. Ready. It's to primed. Go. Yeah, yeah. Like the team sold everything. Yep. Like sixteen million or whatever it was that they sold. So it's primed. It's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Pepe. Um, o Obama, <laughs> Harry Potter, Obama, sign Bitcoin, <laughs> that one, yeah. right? Like I, like I would buy ten thousand dollars worth and not even worry about that. Mm -hmm. Like I would sleep at night because I right. know when the bull run really, really takes off. In Ima imagine showing this to stock market uh, investors. Right, right. Nobody <laughs> understand. Right, 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 right. But it's a beautiful meme. <laughs> yeah, uh, that one. Um, the biggest meme coin on Solana is Bonk. Right? Yes, correct. So I would say Bonk. Yeah. Right. Especially because if you think about it, Solana's going to do crazy. Yeah, Solana's in killing the bull run. it. There's so going to have to be a big the meme. meme on Solana, the biggest yeah. meme coin on Solana is going to yeah. do well, right? Yeah. So Pepe, Bitcoin, um, Bonk. Mm. Dog with Hat is the second biggest. Second biggest right now. Cor correct. Yeah. Dog with Hat. Yeah. And then, it, like, if we're talking about all chains, right? Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think I know what you're gonna say, but we'll see. You want to know something crazy? What What is the biggest meme coin on um, uh, Avalanche? Ooh, something about a husky or something. I don't know. Actually, it's a dog coin. I think. Okay. I think I might be wrong on this. I don't know. Okay. Um, 
the biggest meme coin on Cardano, Snack. Yeah, that's what you know I mean. I feel like that. I feel like I put that number. Dude, five. Cardano has this weird fucking cult following, bro. It like, does. Where it's like people, the, the crypto community kind of forgets that it's over there. They can't explain it. But it's like, dude, that shit is like cult following. So to me, I think, yeah, like a Cardano coin, just because most people in crypto is not really paying attention, all retail could right. just go there. Right. And the so, liquidity yeah, could all go there. For sure. It yeah. could blow up. Snack could blow up. Um, but here's the thing. How long have you been in crypto? Um, not seriously, seriously, like paying attention for like couple, like three years, maybe like so around the same time of like COVID 2020 type shit, but always kind of half paying attention before that, holding a little ETH, a little okay. Bitcoin, but you know, I've been around for okay. a while, but really tweeting every day type shit. Have yeah. you ever looked into Cardano like deeply, like into the ecosystem? In into- 2017, I did, but not since that, just because... I don't have enough brain power to look at every single fucking thing. Okay. But, uh, you know, I do see why it's a cult, but I'm probably not going to be the Cardano holder. This this is the reason why yeah. I'm asking you this, because I feel like I'm relatively new to Cardano. Like yeah. I started looking into it in 2021, like right after Dogecoin, because I was looking at more utility based projects. Um, I don't understand why so many people hate it. I'm asking mm. you because I want to know maybe there's something I don't know. You know what I mean? I, like, so I'll give you what I think. And, uh, you know, the people that I sort of know, my homies in crypto is all 2017, 2018 right. kind of crowd. Right. Um, and I think basically people think that Charles Hoskinson is kind of just the cult of the leader and not really anything is get. He's always like, yo, we have like these fucking PhD thesis and it's like a million pages of right. what we're going to do and nothing really ever gets done. And I think when people just got into the NFT shit with ETH, it kind of fits the same sort of utility and it just works good. It's fast, whatever people use it and people just kind of don't see a need for Cardano. But I am curious the other way. I actually find it crazy how much retail fucking loves it. Like my little brother, yeah. when he's like Cardano, like or like anyone that's yeah. a random person, yeah. they that's what they get drawn to. So it's like a really interesting coin or it's just like- There's there's a community, there's a cult following there. Um, and there's a lot of po- like good projects getting made. Mm. Like, but here's the thing: it, it gets dismissed so much. It, it's kind of a running joke a little bit in the OGs. And I, and I just want to know OGs, why. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I'm not, like, I'm not like oblivious to it. I know sure. it gets hate. I don't know why. But though. sometimes that's kind of bullish because it makes the community come together and be right. like, it's like underdog, underdog shit. It is, right. you know. So, right. but yeah, no, that's interesting, bro. Yeah, Cardano. Yeah, fucking interesting. So, when did you get into NFTs then? Because uh, you have an Azuki. Is that your PFP? Is an Azuki? Or yeah, yeah. Shout out to Borovic. By the yeah, way. shout out to Borovic. I told him Yo, I was gonna shout and, him out. Yeah, dude. I was. I said the same thing. I, we got to shout out Borovic bro, for helping <laughs> us, for connecting right. us, and do this podcast. Um, Borovic is a funny dude, man. And his engagement strategy on Twitter, I love it so much. Like, you know, I, we always joke about it, but like, he'll screenshot something that's going viral and then he'll tweet it and like he actually created a whole new style of making things go viral um how would tell me so like it's it's funny because like people would get kind of mad at it but i think it's genius so like someone else would say something on twitter that is kind of interesting like let's say it would be like a someone from like tradfi would be like hey the bitcoin etf had this much right, right, this right. many hundred million inflow today right and instead of like quote tweeting the guy and being like yo this yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. he would just screenshot it post it as a picture and not tag the fucking person at all and be like the Bitcoin ETF and like, but because the Twitter algorithm, you know how it is when you post a picture, if it starts, that shit goes crazy, right? More than quote tweeting someone. And um, does he really do that? He does that. But I think it's, I I think it's fucking funny, bro. It became a meme. So then I started like screenshotting his replies to me and then being like, Borovic says this, this, this. But um, I think it's pretty funny, bro. Honestly, when people get super butthurt over that, I'm just like, it's Twitter, dude. Like, you know, all my credit. It's like, I get, it, right, right. but it's like it's not like he went to university and used your fucking like right, uh, right, right, you know right, your right, right, right. thesis or bro. It, it's <laughs> a, there's a lot of trolling on Twitter that I got yeah. I got you know hip to this past year or two like like stuff like that like stuff like um uh copy pastas you yeah know exactly I mean? like, at first you're like wait why is everyone saying right, this right, right. I thought he liked then this coin like, oh, and you're like joke. you're like oh, he's just copy pasting people but yeah no shout out Borvik for sure thanks Borvik um dude that's so funny so you know at that point oh you're guess like, what I just bought what did you just buy a D got Yo, okay, talk about that. For why? like two ETH. Why, why did you decide to buy D-Gods? Shout out D-Gods, you're sick. Shout out D-Gods. Um, so I like the Zookies too. So so I feel like I feel like the same way we got like a top five in crypto, mm. you got a top five in NFTs, right? Hit me. Um, obviously base. Mm-hmm. Like do you want to 
count mutants as number two? No, nah, let's put it all in their board okay, ape yacht okay, club. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Let's do let's do board ape yacht club number one. Above punks? No, punks, right? Or no? Punks, 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 okay. punks, punks. Yeah, no, damn. Uh, number one punks. Mm-hmm. Then it's board ape. Then I'd say pudgy penguins are fucking killing yeah, it. Yeah, they bro. just flipped apes too. Well, it's kind of like neck and neck right yeah, now. They're yeah, they're right yeah, there. Yeah. No, Shout Boros out Luke tracking Nets. that shit. He's, yep. he's, he's gonna let you know as soon as. Yeah, pudgy, he'll let us know. Pudgy flips base. Uh, uh, punks base. Uh, pudgies. Um, and personally, the last two for me, I would have to say Azuki's and D Gods. Mm. Like, un- unless there's a there's like another one you like. What do you like? Dude, I like... Or what I do mean, you consider? Because I'm not yeah. in the NFT space like you. No, I think that's good. I think that's so a good what list. what would you say is the top five? I would say punks, okay. bored apes. Um, you can't deny pudgy penguins right now. I wouldn't have said that six months right, ago. But right. you just... Since Luca Nets bought them and made them like fucking... They're at Walmart, like right, toys and shit. Right. They, they they flipped fucking bored apes. So it's right. like, how could I say that's not right. top, top right, five? Right, so right, right. How, that has to be up there. Um, and then Azuki... Uh, there's been so much back and forth. I don't know how I feel about Azuki. I actually... I minted some Azukis. Um, and then there was some shit with the team where the founder, Zagabond, he's a cool guy, but there was some shit where he kind of was doing some nah, borderline stuff with some previous projects. Nothing crazy, but he was kind of like, you know, kind of going on from one project to the next. And there was like an account that was like a female account, like a female punk, and he was pretending to be a female, oh. whatever. I'm not sure exactly. He, he said that was a, a friend. It wasn't him. Yeah. There was all the shit and kind of like, I ended up being like, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna sell my Azukis. I still really like the art and the project. And I think it's gonna I do really well. Clean. Bro, I went to a Zuki party when I was still a holder. Yeah. I went to a Zuki party in LA. It was like every every NFT event I have been to, and I, I held apes from really right. early right, too. Right, right, so right. I was at Ape Fest. Okay. You know, Ape Fest was great, but yeah. it's like every other NFT event, the ratio is like 95% dudes. And like the other 5% is like girls that their guy brought them, Isn't it you funny? know, right? Azuki party in LA, <laughs> dude, it was like 90% Asian chicks. Really? Like not 90, but bro, it was like 50, 60% Asian chicks. And like the rest was just like dudes. It was the ratio. I was like, it was like being at an actual club, the party. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, well that alone is gonna make Azuki survive and do yeah, pretty well. Yeah. And so shout out to holders. Azuki holders, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's cool. And then I would say number five, uh, I don't know, man. Honestly, probably. So you just, would put Azuki at four. I would put it up in the top five. Yeah, okay. and I think okay. I think that like you know they were going for around the like thirty e type shit. Like you know, not many projects have ever got up there. So I, I have to assume if there's another bull run, right, they're gonna go come up, up to, there. Yeah. Last one, I don't know. It could be a bunch of stuff. It could be D gods. It could be um, you know cool cats, doodles, clone X, all those. But I'm not really so bull. I actually think punks and apes are gonna do great long term. Mm-hmm. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if nothing else ever comes back to the top, top, top where it was. But like I think punks will be like millions of dollars like in I five agree. years you know I agree. so but do you like the nft shit like uh as much as the meme coins or like what do you like i just don't understand it as much bro yeah. like like i haven't did the ten thousand hours on mm-hmm. nfts you know what i'm saying so so it's like it's I, more moving I know, pieces yeah i know meme coins like the back of my hand bro i could you know flip meme coins all day but uh with, with nfts it's like i i'm a fan of the art um it's funny because I tell Borovic this shit all the time. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, Boro, you make a like, like, cause I'm, I'm like, where's the value? Give me the value. Yeah, yeah, where's yeah. the value, right? And 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 and, and, and Boro says it's the IP. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's such an NFT holder fucking answer as well. Yeah, the IP. What yeah. is the IP being used for, Boro? That, yeah, right, right. Like. Their base shirts at Walmart for eight on bucks. sale for $8. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the value of that IP? I, I think the IP shit is so such an over, uh, yeah, overhyped thing where it's like, nah, bro, you own your IP. Okay, yeah, but like this person owns their IP, but they fucking go to school and they have like f- 300 bucks. Like what the fuck are they going to do with their IP? Right. Like, they're going to start a fucking you're gonna start a coffee night, business. You're start a nightclub <laughs> in Vegas. Like, I don't know. Some people are doing some cool shit with their board apes, you know, whatever. But here's where I think it gets delusional where people think, um, oh, the IP, I got my board ape IP. And by the way, I love board apes. I was very early in board apes and I have a lot of friends in the community and I actually like Yuga Labs, everything, yeah. even still. It's like, oh, I got my ape IP. Bro, let's be real. Outside of this little bubble, nobody gives a fuck. Right. No one gives a fuck. Right. You go out in the real world and you're like, no, 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 but I own this ape. They're like, 
a uh, picture of the board ape monkey NFTs. Like, am I supposed to, is that impressive? There's like, 10,000 of them. Yeah. They just think like, oh, it's just like a cartoon picture. Like why, why does that matter? Like that's the honest reality of it, I think. And maybe one day that will change. Maybe one day people realize that there's some ownership value. And I think that there could, here's the thing. Like if, uh, let's say someone approaches, let's say Pudgy Penguins or Yuga Labs or whatever, yeah. and they, some huge, here's what everyone says. It's going to be the new Disney. Da, da, da. We're going to, these characters are going to be like the new Mickey Bro, Mouse. Bro, if I had to pick a new Disney on NFTs, I'd say Doodles. Honestly, some shit like that. But even if it did happen, let's say Disney partnered with fucking someone and right. they're like, now we're going to do movies and all these doodles are going to be in the movies with next to fucking Disney right, right, characters. Right, 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 right. Are you as a holder of one doodle? Are you going to get rich off that? Are you going to make money off that? No, bro. No. They might shoot you 20 bucks royalties like Spotify, right, uh, you know. Right, right, so right, right, that's right. where I think people get kind of delusional with it. Like, no, I'm going to get rich of owning this IP. So I don't know. Um, but crypto punks, I, I, I personally love crypto. Punks. I love punks. I would love to own a punk one day. Me too. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. It, if I had an extra, just chilling, hundred k. <laughs> yeah. How much? What's the floor at? One fifty right now. One sixty. One fifty. Yeah. Bro. I remember like right like fucking six, eight, seven months ago they were like forty, forty k or something. No, they were not forty. Really? I think they were. They maybe touched it, it briefly. ETH. Maybe there's no way it was. No, nah, I think they went down to like. Oh, you're right. Maybe it was like yeah, I you're right. Maybe 80, something like that. They 80, went down 90. way lower than I expected anyway, and I was like, oh 80K. shit, and now they're way up. So, um, all right, bro. Let me. I got like two or three more questions. Okay. I think we're doing great. This is fu you know, fucking awesome. great interview, by the way, bro. It's insane. So one of my questions was, um, when you did that Graham Stephan interview, that's probably the most, that's where I really started seeing your story on the Graham Stephan interview. Like when you look- The podcast? Yeah, the podcast with that finance dude. Uh, Ice you know? Coffee Ice hour. Coffee Hour, exactly. Um, and they were like, that guy is really the opposite of, of us in a way where he's like risk tolerance, right, like right, right, zero. Right, right, and he was right, right. like begging you like, bro, no, sell, right, sell, right, sell. Right, right. My question to you is, do you ever like, do you ever say, you know what? I wish this whole fucking thing didn't even happen to me, bro. Like I wish none of this shit happened or never. Are you like, that's my story. Bro, I, I would be lying if I said that having people being on a spotlight didn't affect whether or not I sold. Mm. But the thing is this, that was a variable that I never planned on. My whole goal was let's make some money. Right. Right. Because I need to fund my stuff. I need to fund this music stuff. I need to buy houses for my family. Right. Yeah. Like let's make some money was the goal. Sure. The influencer thing just was secondary. Yeah. All of a sudden. And here's the, here's the other thing. People are pocket watching my bags. My thing was under a microscope. My portfolio is right here. Yeah. This is how much I made in Dogecoin. Yeah. And then I'm posting my portfolio because I'm trying to be transparent. You're trying to be honest, but it, it, can, honest, it can bring you more difficulties. Because yeah. it was like, okay, now if I sell, I'm a hypocrite. Like, bro, there's a lot of mental gymnastics that happen For when sure. I'm holding $3 million in Dogecoin and I got an army of people watching every move. what I'm about to do next. Yeah, and also like you, I was going to ask this, like your identity became... I'm Dogecoin millionaire right. and it was working so good and you're getting right. good feedback, good attention. And it's not that you care about the attention, but you understand that this is valuable and maybe this attention can lead to good opportunities that I can do those things. Right, I can right, make right, money right, to, right, for right. it to fund my music thing. So you don't also want to like, in a way, did your identity become too strong to where it was like, fuck, I'm Dogecoin millionaire. I literally can't sell because then who right, am I? Right. If I sell... I don't at know that, what I what at, I am at that time for sure. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I, I've always also been the type of person where if your PFP is X Y Z, mm. you must own that. Yeah, right. Like right. like like just just like on on like a very fundamental integrity level. Because you're an honest guy, right? Uh, so and now like you realize you, a lot of people don't do that shit. No, they exactly. don't. And then there's like they don't care, bro. Like yeah. like here's the thing. Every single time I talk to somebody on Twitter and they have a base a yeah, PFP yeah. or they have whatever, my assumption is you own that. Right, right. Because and they're it, like, no, it's a V2 flipped thing. And you're like, well, fuck, dude. Like, why right. Yeah, so, yeah. so like there were there have been some people in the base community within the last year that have sold their bases and kept it and kept <laughs> the Moss, PFP. T -T -Moss, like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, like, yeah, do you yeah. have no spinal cord? Like, yeah, where's yeah. your back? Like, <laughs> no, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like, I would never do that. I would that. never do that personally right. for me. Yeah, and, 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 and so, and so, but like people do it, people you know do what it. I'm saying? And people it's like, it. it's like, what are you going to say? You can't say nothing. Yep. Like you can disagree with it, but yep. they could just keep. And the now they feet. took the hexagon shit off Twitter. So now you really can't know. Cause before when they had the hexagon, you, you knew they, they check. owned it. Yeah. So now it's fucking back to like total wild west with it. Um, so yeah, no, I mean, here's the thing. Like that happened to me with board ape Yakla, bro, where it was like, I had the board ape as my profile picture. I'm like a, 
board ape holder it becomes your identity right, right, then right, it's right, so right, hard right, to right, sell right, right. because you're like you feel this weird shit like you're letting people down or i was right. going to ask you did you feel like if you sold you were letting dogecoin holders down your followers that you're like i'm doing this for like the small guy the guy that's just following Facts. me and i don't want to let them down was that part of why you didn't sell that was a huge yeah. part of why i didn't sell you know what i'm saying like bro like i said it was mental gymnastics i'm, I'm sitting here like this is life-changing money but I, I, but it's it's a cause behind it, right? Like, yeah. like I can't preach about the future of crypto. Crypto is the future. Dogecoin is my favorite one. Like, it can actually change things if Elon decides to use it as a payment system. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't say all these things and then sell my bag. Yeah, you were you're like I'm not keeping it real, basically. And then yeah, that's one I of those things know, we got to realize. Like, the more you be in the space, you're like, okay, maybe next time when I do something, I'm not gonna get so vocal about right, one right, thing because right, then you right, get pigeonholed right, right. but it's like you said it's like you really believe in it so you right, want to talk about it and right. then it ends up it can end up backfiring so right. um what was like the worst what was the worst moment bro with all that shit like the darkest time of that whole time uh the darkest time was after i quit my job in 2021 mm. and then i was like fuck <laughs> where <laughs> like, now what now right yeah. like what am i gonna do and so you know, tra I had to learn about a lot about trading, flipping stuff, meme coins, this down the third, and, and it was just a lot of like scrambling. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean for 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 those first six months. I feel like, but then I kind of got my footing and, and everything's cool. But that's good. But yeah, no, it was. A and lot then obviously now you're doing all the influencer shit. You do have an audience now, yeah. so it, it worked out in the end, and you're doing your thing. Um, yeah, I guess my last question is, what, when you become a crypto millionaire publicly like that, it's almost like winning the fucking lotto, bro, right. in public. Right. What are some of, what was the most surprising shit that happened in those those moments? Like anything you weren't expecting? Was it, how crazy did it get? Are people hitting you up asking for shit? Are people like yeah. thinking that you, like what, what kind of crazy shit me, is going on? Well, this, this used to happen a lot more in the beginning, but people used to always ask me for money. Like, so crazy. like yo bro, can you send me $10,000? Damn. Yo, can you send me, I need X, Y, and Z. Oh, my mom's sick in the hospital. Like all these, and then you you can't verify any stories. You don't know yeah, what's yeah. true, what's not. Like, so I just like just as a rule of thumb, I just never do. Nah, you anything, can't, you can't, because you know? if you even open that floodgate, I'm right. assuming, like, because right. think of, like all it takes is one person to be like publicly say, "Thank you so yeah, much, uh, Slumdog, for fucked. giving me ten thousand dollars." Yeah, holy and crap! And then all of a sudden, your DMs are flooded. That's right? fucking crazy. If you um, if you have another, not if I'm 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 sure when because you're a smart guy and you're still doing shit, you know, or if or when, whatever word you want to use, if this situation happens again and you run up a bag to like a crazy number would you do you think you'd go so public with it again or would you be like you know what this time i'm i could talk about it but i'm gonna keep my details to myself and i'm gonna just keep my shit to myself um i could tell you this next bull run i'm gonna make five million dollars on dogecoin and i'm gonna cash out <laughs> you heard it here first you heard it here first and yo that's inspirational in itself and like even though you're, you're gonna if you sell it that's still good for Doge holders. But here's they're, they're why. gonna be happy for you, bro. Here's People why. gotta be happy for you. I've been tried and true. Yeah. I've earned my stripes. Everyone will be happy for you. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like 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 I did what I said I would do. Yeah. I held my word. I, I kept my promise. I did everything. Like like now when it runs back up, like Dogecoin had a dollar, I got five million. Wow. So, you know. Amazing. Dude, honestly, you're the one guy where I feel like if you do that, there will not be one person you can't that's say upset. Shit to me. Nobody will ever I get rolled mad. I the will, wave. Yeah, people will respect <laughs> the shit out of that. So, yeah, let's leave it on that, guys. Yo, let's doge to a dollar. Let's fucking Those go. Fucking <laughs> and, uh, yeah, dude, Glabbert, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, Dogecoin man. Millionaire, thank you. Anything else, last words you want to say or anywhere? Where do you want people to hit you up, find uh, you? Just everywhere? T I mean, everywhere, really. Twitter, Slum Doge Millionaire. You know, mm. follow me. It's, it's uh, my handle's at Pro the Doge. Pro the Doge. We'll put everything in yeah. the description. Dope. Awesome. Thanks for making the time, bro. Yeah, man, Appreciate course, it. Bro. Boom.